Hi, good morning. Thanks for joining me today for the Daily Wisdom Read, Get Wisdom. If any of you lack understanding, get wisdom. So we're going to get it right here. We're in chapter 11 of the book of Proverbs. If you have your hard copy, get it. If you have it on your cell phone, open up that app. If you don't have a hard copy or an app on your phone, click on over to Bible.com or BibleGateway.com. It's a free resource where you can follow right along and read it and meditate with us. We're jumping right into 11. Dishonest scales are an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. When pride comes, then comes shame, but with the humble is wisdom. The integrity of the upright will guide them, but the perversity of the unfaithful will destroy them. Riches do not profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. The righteousness of the blameless will direct his way aright, but the wicked will fall by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the upright will deliver them, but the unfaithful will be caught by their host. I'm sorry, I don't have my, pardon me, I don't have my glasses on. Because they fit weird. <laughs> and I don't like them. I need to reread that because I read it wrong. We're in chapter 11, verse 6. It says, The righteousness of the upright will deliver them, but the unfaithful will be caught by their lust. Ooh, that's a much different interpretation than host. But the unfaithful will be caught by their lust. When a wicked man dies, his expectation will perish and the hope of the unjust perishes. The righteous is delivered from trouble and it comes to the wicked instead. The hypocrite with his mouth destroys his neighbor, but through knowledge the righteous will be delivered. When it goes well with the righteous, the city rejoices. And when the wicked perish, there is jubilation. By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. He who is devoid of wisdom despises his neighbor, but a man of understanding holds his peace. A talebearer reveals secrets, but he who is of a faithful spirit conceals a matter. Where there is no counsel, the people fall, but in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. He who is surety for a stranger will suffer, but one who hates being surety is secure. That's something to think about. A gracious woman retains honor, but ruthless men retain riches. The merciful man does good for his own soul, but he who is cruel troubles his own flesh. The wicked man does deceptive work. Okay, that is a word for today. One for you to heed for yourself and one for you to consider when you're dealing with other people. The wicked man does deceptive work, but he who sows righteousness will have a sure reward. As righteousness leads to life, so he who, perceives, he who pursues evil pursues it to his own death. Those who are of a perverse heart are an abomination to the Lord. But the blameless in their ways are his delight. Though they join forces, the wicked will not go unpunished. But the prosperity, oh no, but the posterity of the righteous will be delivered. Let me reread that one more time. Though they join forces, the wicked will not go unpunished. But the posterity of the righteous will be delivered. As a ring of gold in a swine's snout, so is a lovely woman who lacks discretion. That's a word for somebody. The desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. There is one who scatters yet increases more, and there is one who withholds more than is right, but it leads to poverty. Oh my gosh, which of all of us have a testimony of that? I'm so sure. Okay, so we're back into 25. The generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters will also be watered himself. The people will curse him who withholds grain, but blessing will be on the head of him who sells it. He who earnestly seeks good finds favor, but trouble will come to him who seeks evil. He who trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will flourish like foliage. He 
who troubles his own house will inherit the wind, and the fool will be servant to the wise of heart. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. If the righteous will be recompensed on the earth, how much more the ungodly and the sinner. That is another chapter that is so chock full with wisdom and nuggets. I feel like we could spend a day line by line. And my biggest takeaway from all of that is in our two ways, in our daily business dealings, it is better to be generous. It is better to give the benefit of the doubt. It is better to sow, to give, to just be generous than it is to be. And it's my word. It's not the word from my, my new King James. Don't be stingy. <laughs> and when you take that over into personal life, when you're dealing with friends and family, don't be stingy. Oh, there's so much wisdom in that. I hope this is helping you. Uh, we'll come back. We'll be tomorrow, 10 a.m., Mountain Standard Time, that's Arizona, and we'll just dive into chapter 13. Let me know in the comments what's working for you, what's pinging with you, what did you learn that was new, how did you hear it and get a fresh interpretation. Revelation is like, like that's what they call it, a running river of water because it's, it's just constantly flowing and it's constantly new and fresh. So I got a new takeaway from that. I hope you did too. I will see you tomorrow. And again, let me know in the comments what's working, what's not, and how it's helping you. I'm Cheryl Lynn. This is Makeup University. And remember, you look really gorgeous today.